I'm the one of the biggest Conan fans I would say ever. And uh, uh, he's just, he's the reason I do stand up and doing his show was just like, it was a little scary because it's like after this, what is there to live for? You know, like when you have these dreams, I have a little bit of that with Conan, you know, it's only gotten better and I've become like friends with him, but um, there are these moments where you get to meet the people that you've always wanted to meet. And then you're like, okay, well, I don't really have any more goals in life. It was like Conan, Dave Matthews, and I guess Jennifer Aniston, I still have to meet her. And then I can, um, then I can die. A lot of work goes into a short late night stand-up set. Join me, JP Buck, as I spotlight the comedians who came up with some of my favorite Conan sets. This is The Setup. Please welcome the very funny Nikki Glazer. You have a great Aniston impression. Oh, which oh, is just- thank which you. Is, oh, <laughs> you are so, oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, God, JP, oh, oh. Yeah, I do. Like, it's just, you just have to act like you're watching a squirrel almost get hit by a car. That's the, I always go into Aniston whenever I'm like, oh, 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 no, 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 oh, 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 good, oh. Like, that's always my, that's, how, that's where I go to for that. I found a couple of photos also uh, of you backstage before the show. Oh, I remember And I'm just that, curious, yeah. I, want, I want to share this, <laughs> let me know if this brings any sort of yeah. sense memory Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, th this is the best because there's always, whenever I do it, even whether I'm doing panel or when I did stand up, these guys that hold open the curtains for you are mm -hmm. so nice. Everyone backstage and everyone at Conan is just so kind and friendly. And I always just feel like, God, I want to work. It's just fun. It's, it's a fun day for me. And everyone's always excited. I'm there. It just, it always feels like my birthday when I'm there. So I just remember talking to these two guys and feeling and just having some chit chat that eat uh -huh. that really calm my nerves. But um, right now in this moment, I'm, I don't think I'm, obviously I'm nervous. Look at me, I'm like gripping that very hard. <laughs> and my outfit is like, I remember getting fitted for this. And I was at the time I was doing an, an MTV show where they dressed me like a Barbie doll. So this was still like kind of in that realm of uh, dressing like uh, I was gonna be on MTV very soon. And um, yeah, but I was like very, at this point, I'm probably going over my jokes. I'm looking down. So I'm thinking about my jokes, thinking about the order, making sure I, I get it all right. And while also trying to have a conversation with these two sweet gentlemen. So this is backstage still, right? <laughs> this is backstage just before you walk out there. Yeah, like your I back always is like to, to have a moment with whoever is backstage and be like, I like your shoes. Like I like to have some kind of moment that grounds me and mm -hmm. makes me feel like myself because I want to go out there and talk the same way that I talk, you know, backstage. So I like to just be like, oh my God, wait, what is that? Or like, just have some sort of interaction. So I think I'm always dying to like pose for a picture and be like, got it. Like, just get me out of my head for a second. So that's, I do this every time at your show. Please welcome the very funny Nikki Glazer. <laughs> Me too. I flew here a couple days ago from New York City. Uh, whenever I fly, my mom always gets so nervous. She's like, will you call me when you land so I know you got in safely? I'm like, how about I don't call you and you just watch the news later? I love this joke more than you did. I will admit, yeah. I will openly admit that this was me pushing you to do this joke. I <laughs> love this joke, JP, but I know, I knew this joke and I knew that it never gets what it deserves. And mm -hmm. it makes me so mad even watching it now. First of all, I'm nervous as hell. I'm holding the mic weird. I always hold my mic way too high. I'm nervous, so that wasn't helping the joke, but this joke never does well. And it this is one of the jokes that I'm gonna bring back and work on mm -hmm. because this deserves more than it got. And yes. it always doesn't get as much as it deserves. So you're not wrong and I'm so glad you believed in it. Your first joke never gets what it should because <sighs> they're hearing your voice, they're getting used to you. And mm -hmm. the fact, even though you did say, hello, nice to be here, you didn't just start cold. Mm -hmm. Having another sacrificial lamb ahead of this joke would have helped. The secret to stand up is not really being funny. It's making mm -hmm. the audience comfortable and know that you've you've got this and you've yeah. you, they can eat, sit back and relax. Watching someone who's nervous, whether or not they're hilarious, is you're, you'll bomb. 
So you can be very unfunny and just look comfortable and people will laugh. That's just like a trick. But uh, this joke, I'm nervous. It requires too much of a leap in logic. Uh-huh. And it's too much for the first joke. But I don't regret it. I'm glad we got it out of the way. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited to bring it back. Another option for an opener that you had just, you like you were recently, you're a bad driver and you were dry, you were out and you had hit, hit a deer. Dear, Dear old, old man. man. And I hope he's okay. <laughs> I left a note. Yeah. Yeah. That, that joke actually, Anthony Jeselnik had a sim, the same, pretty much the same joke that he later mm-hmm. put in a, a special. And so I wasn't ever able to do that again, but that joke, that joke would have been perfect. I mean, mm-hmm. my, my favorite opener, the one that uh, always works and that I use all the time is I just, I'm Nikki. I just turned, um, I just turned 27 in June of 2008 or whatever, you know, like what I, yeah. that one always gets them to just the shortest amount of time between you saying, starting your first joke and the laugh is the best opener. I have a roommate in New York. She's not there much anymore because she just got a boyfriend, you know, or she's like super missing, but uh, <laughs> gonna hope for the best on that one. Uh, her parents keep calling. They're like, have you seen her? I'm like, check Craigslist. That's where I found her. So <laughs> trying to help. I'd put up missing posters, but she told me not to use her printer without asking, so (laughs) my hands are tied, you know, just like hers. Um, She's okay. Oh, man. Uh, If I'm going to be honest, sure. I I was watching a lot of Amy Schumer around this time, and, like, Mm -hmm. I am just... It's it's so hard for me. I've had to stop watching people I really like because I will just sound like them, and... Amy was, we were hanging out a lot at this time and like that was a total Amy delivery. She's one of my favorite comedians of all time. So it it makes sense. But I just watched that and I go, oh, like you haven't found like, obviously I've found my style and Mm -hmm. the the tone of the jokes, but I just go, oh, she likes Schumer a lot and has been watching a lot of hers. And um, I was always like really dark with my jokes like the fact that (laughs) this girl's missing and tied up somewhere i would change it a lot though like now like uh my hands are tied like hers probably are like i wouldn't say like hers are i would have said like hers probably Probably are are. i think that would hit harder because i don't know where she is um and then i probably would have kept going with it like uh it's 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 funny to see now how I, i would approach these but this is this is fun i'm actually looking at this like she's a different perk. She's not me. It's making mm-hmm. it easier for me to watch. I had to move out when my mom found my vibrator. I had the same reaction I did when she found cigarettes in my purse when I was 16. I was like, Mom, it's not mine. I'm holding on to it for a friend. She had the same reaction too, though, because she made me use it until I got sick. So I learned, I learned my lesson. Yeah, thank you. It makes me so mad that that got an applause break because I did not write that tag. I did Uh write the first part because it was all true of me saying, I'm keeping it for a friend. And that's also what I used to say when she found pot. Um, Mm -hmm. The joke of she made me use it until I got sick was written actually by my friend Harris Whittles, who is now passed. So it's actually like a beautiful thing that this lives, he like, for me lives on in this joke. And every time I ever like tell this joke on stage, sometimes I just remember it in the middle of my show. Um, I always think of him, but it, it is nothing more infuriating than when someone gives you a line and then it's like, it's the first applause break you get and you're like, oh, I can't even take credit for that. But that was a, that was a Harris Whittles. It is so good. That makes me so happy. I never knew that. And I, that, yeah. of all the people that could have written that for you, that makes me the happiest that I, I was here. I know, him. right? I love it so much. He lives on with that disgusting joke. He was one of the comics who never, I never got to have on the show mm. that I really feel disappointed that it never happened. And the fact, just to hear that, he did get yeah. a tag. He got a tag, a great tag that got an applause break. I mean, he he was such a great writer and comic. Like that's why he was so beloved by so many people. Yeah, exactly. He was so original and so cutting and so funny and had that ability to be adorable while saying something heinous. You were shielding your eyes and putting your head down for most of that, but I don't know if you noticed that you did look over to Conan. That's what I like was like, okay, I got this. And that is crazy that I didn't just, uh, that's a closer joke. I mean, first of all, it's so gross. Mm -hmm. Um, You don't drop that a minute 45 in, but (laughs) you know, I don't play by the rules, JP. How am I going to end this? I I forget. 
and the first guy was not special. You know, he was just the first guy to have like a really good argument for why we should. You know, because I was like, I don't think I'm ready. And he was like, come on. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Okay, okay, all right. Uh-huh. So, a great joke. Delivery, eh. A lot of things I would have done differently. I'm happy with this set. Definitely, like, started the conversation with, Con- like, it was a great way to first meet Conan. Now I want to say, do you have when Conan came over? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes! This is the yes. best. That was great. Thank you, Conan. That's hilarious. Oh, That's Thank fantastic. So Nikki Glazer. <laughs> really funny. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, my God. I was like... Uh, okay, so he was so nice. I mean, like, you could tell, like, it was great. Like, he was very, he knew that I was nervous and he was very encouraging. And it was, mm-hmm. it was great, but it wasn't, like, the way, you know, uh, and, and I remember right after that, I was like, I ju- you are the reason I do comedy. And, and I said, I'm, and, I'm, and I, that is, I'm not just saying that you are the reason I do comedy. He said, girls telling me that I'm the reason they do comedy is why I do comedy. Or like girls <laughs> like you uh-huh. talking to me is the reason I do comedy. He said something funny like that that I was just like, God damn, he's so hilarious and so nice. And, um, and then he like took pictures with me backstage and I, uh, I definitely like cried. And there's one picture where it looks like I'm like going to prom with him. I'm like next to him just like, ha! like I look like uh, it was just that was the best and i was done too you know like that when you're when you go thank you good night and you feel good about it it's just like that sense of relief is is amazing and um yeah and then i went over and i think adam scott was on the show he was very nice and andy of course is always like so cool and uh yeah that was that was great look at the two of you chatting it up oh I am like just trying to be in that moment and be so cool and have like uh, just a connection. I mean that I'm losing my mind in that photo. Uh-huh. I remember that so much and it's, I still don't really, um, I'm not like, it's, it's so hard for me to be present when I'm talking to him because it's, it's, it's just, he's, he's my fave. But um, I remember sitting on that couch and just feeling, I mean, I've watched so many times and just being like, I, I made it, I did it. I did it and this is what was the goal and you know I mean my friends from high school could not believe I was on Conan because in high school I was filling out uh, notebooks uh, drawing pictures of him uh reciting bits I'd seen the night before uh highlighting in the year 2000 the best jokes in there and studying the jokes I mean I was such a huge fan so this is like mm-hmm. i'm just again i'm trying to be cool here but i'm not and um and yeah i just remember getting to sit on that couch was such a such an honor thankfully through doing your show like i i have found my voice like i i really think I, you know my appearances on conan have been are, are the things that pop up on youtube that people binge and 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 write me about constantly so and it's where I feel my most self and it's where I'm the most excited and just, uh, I'm in heaven. So mm-hmm. it's, it's really cool to revisit this. I am so grateful for you to have had me on the show. Um, and yeah, I really, I, I, after that performance, I was like, okay, I can just, I can quit now. Like I really <laughs> don't have many goals. Hosting SNL is my last real, like mm-hmm. actual entertainment goal. And even that I'm like, it wasn't as important to me as having been on Conan, but I, that was like the number one goal and and I achieved it. So I'm done. 